And that pesky 15 second sandstorm is underway as the bots get started. 4188 moves across the half line. 6910 also followed by 7514. They gain three points apiece for climbing from the lower level. And from the second level, they get six. As now we're at below T minus 135. Till launch, the human players have control and the bots are moving up and down the field as they try to load the rocket or load the cargo ship with as much cargo as possible. In order to load that cargo successfully, the hatch panels have to be in place. If the robots can score a hatch panel by placing it onto the rocket or onto the cargo panel, cargo ship, they will gain two points for that hatch panel. If they can take those round orange spherical objects that you see out there on the field, those are cargo pods. They can place them into the cargo bays for the rocket or the cargo ships. They will gain three points apiece. As 832 Team Oscar has won at the cargo bay and they load it in the center bay as well as 5109 for the Red Alliance. 7514 EVE Robotics Team. They're trying to place a hatch panel. They're up at the cargo ship. They're trying to get that second hatch on the front of that cargo ship so they can load those valuable cargo pods and gain those valuable points. 6910 spinning around heading for the loading zone as Columbus Space Program picks up one of those cargo pads and moves towards the rocket. Now they've changed their mind and head towards the cargo bay. And they're at the cargo bay of the cargo ship. They drop it and lose control. It falls outside onto planet Primus' surface. Now they change their strategy and move towards the center of the HAB platform. Looks like they're going to attempt to climb up onto the third level of the HAB platform. That will get them 12 points if they're successfully able to climb onto that third level. As we're now down to T minus 15 seconds, the score 31 to 25 in favor of the Blue Alliance right now. As the Columbus Space Program continues to try to climb, Oscar is up or trying to get up on level two. That's worth six points if they can stay there at the end of the match, T minus zero. All right, they get points for being up in the HAB zone. That's that red and blue area in the center of the field on the ends. They get three points for being successfully supported by the HAB platform. All parts of the robot, including wires, batteries, anything that might be dangling, must be supported by the platform. If they're not, the three points don't count, but they get three points for being fully supported at the end of the match. All right. Hey, tell me we're ready for launch. Let's watch the screen as the Blue Alliance rockets ahead of the Red Alliance with a score of 40 to 28. The Columbus Space Program holds tight in the number 10 ranked position as their teammates move up in the rankings for the Blue Alliance. That was match number 56 of what will be 76 total qualifying matches here at the Peachtree Gainesville event.